Good afternoon from a sunny and warm Bishkek. I'm about to go and do something. One of my favorite things to do on my travels. And if you know me, you know that I love my travel and I love my sport. And right now there's a football game, a Kyrgyzstan Premier League game happening right here in Bishkek. It's between a team called Ilbris and another team called FC Dodoi Bishkek. And we're heading out to Dodoi Stadium, even though they're actually the away team. I'll explain in a bit. Let's go. So here we are, we're finally at Dordoy Stadium. So they got training pitches over here, another little sort of cage training pitch over here. And then this is like the main stadium, which is bizarre because I'm guessing you don't have to pay to get in. I can literally stand here and watch it for free. Now, bearing in mind, Dordoy are the biggest team in the country. They're owned by the same company that, when I was at Dordoy Bazaar the other day, they own that. They own Dordoy Plaza, which is a big shopping mall here. And they own the football team. But today, they're actually the away team, despite this being their own stadium, which confuses me slightly. Maybe the stadium that Ilbe is usually playing, it, it's not, I don't know. There might be a problem with it. Maybe it's just easier to play here because both teams actually, are, well, were founded here in, in Bishkek or are actually from Bishkek. So I'm a bit confused, but right now, I don't really care because I'm about to go and watch Dordoy Bishkek and Ilbears play. Can I go and watch the game? Is that okay? Just asked if we could go and watch the game. They said, yeah, oh my God, the thing's open. It's literally completely, there's no um, barriers to entry or anything. That's absolutely insane. You can just literally, there's no gate. There's not anything, you can just literally walk in. I'll come and watch some Kyrgyz Premier League action. How sick is that? And definitely someone scored just running straight on the pitch me <laughs> joining the celebration with them that's absolutely class literally that's that's literally the pitch there how mad is that the top level of football in this country they play in asian competition and yet here we are fc dordoy fish tech <laughs> sit down here Take me seat, enjoy. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't get much, much more front row than no barrier to entry on the pitch. I'm literally, this is me feet, literally unobstructed views of the pitch. This is genuinely one of the best grounds I've ever been to for a game abroad. <laughs> Absolutely class. So this team here, Ilbe is the official home team of the day. I translated their name from Cyrillic to English. And according to, well, I say I translated the Instagram's little C translation thing did it for me. And apparently, Ilbe sounds a bit naff, but apparently in English, it stands for Snow Leopard or Snow Leopards. If, if that's the case, that's an unbelievable name for a football team, the Snow Leopards. Dordois is not quite as inspiring really, but they are the most successful team in the country. They are probably the biggest team in the country. So, and they contest the, Bishkek Derby with Alka Bishkek, which are the second biggest team or, or the other big team here in, in Kyrgyzstan. And here come the Dodoy players now, the Dodoy players now. So as the players are warming up, we'll take a look at the stand. Multicoloured. Pretty nice. There's got a little a little press box here. And then across from there, the, the, the dugouts and the scoreboard. The officials warming up in the middle. And then obviously you've got the rest of the, the stand. So on each side, it looks like it's blocks of blue, um, red and yellow. And then you've got the Dordoy players here warming up. You're not going to be able to get closer to the pitch in many other professional leagues around the world, I wouldn't have thought, but, uh, but here in Bishkek, you can do exactly that. Yeah, I didn't think today when I came, I thought we'd maybe get into the ground because they actually replied to me on their Instagram yesterday and said that that would be allowed. But 
I didn't think it would be like access all areas completely free dead close to the pitch like this is unreal and look at that that's behind the stadium it's the big gravel area I don't know whether they play footy on it because they've got nets over there or maybe they're just regrounding it or whatever but it's certainly a good space for something like that to happen but here's the view from the stand finish oh off the post last week they actually held the Bishkek derby here and Alga I think won but the attendance, I mean, this is for the biggest game in the country, just to give you some idea of the scale of Kyrgyz football. It was roughly about 300, I think it was 312, if I remember the official attendance figure off the website, which obviously isn't very much at all. But here today, we're probably going to have maybe 30 or 40 people, not, not many people at all. I mean, it is four o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, kickoff time, bit of a weird one, but it suits me because obviously i'm just here visiting traveling so i don't need to worry about getting out of work early or whatever the only thing they don't have here well they don't seem to have is a uh, refreshment but out on the street over there there's like a few vendors and stuff and you can just come and go as you please with this stadium seemingly so um i've not got anything to worry about on that front um i should have maybe brought a couple of cans but i don't know whether public drinking is legal here or not so probably best not to not to push it um but yeah this is absolutely i'm just i'm in my element here i'm absolutely buzzing this is this is class this little guy's asking me for my youtube so he's just he's just searching it now <laughs> that's quality i've had a couple of people ask me for my youtube channel it's like the young kids seem to like love it over here like i've had a few come up to me um, and like oh you you know youtube and all this yeah I mean, I'm not YouTube, I'm a YouTuber, but um, albeit loosely, I feel like you need a certain level um, of subscribers to, to get to that that point. But, yeah. Yeah. Huh? So I've gained a couple of subscribers today, which isn't, which isn't bad. Um, well, I say today, this trip. Um, so <laughs> at least I've got, I've got something out of it. These are the balls they use, molten. So ones we're warming up with, I presume they're the same as the match balls. You've got the AFC. Decent balls. So yeah, this is my seat for the game. This is going to be my view for at least 45 minutes. And I'm genuinely, genuinely buzzing <laughs> to see. I'm interested to see the standard. I'm interested to uh, I'm interested to see how both teams play. I'm guessing my prediction is going to be Il Bears 1, Dordoy Bishkek 3. I've never seen a nil nil in a game I've been to abroad. This is probably my 20th or 25th, something like that, country I've watched football in, um, other than the UK. But I, I, I don't know the actual number off the top of my head. I've, I've not counted up. But what a place to what a place to come and watch football, eh? I'm uh, looking forward to the game and. Uh, Bring on or roll on kickoff. That's the crowd before kickoff. I'm not sure. There's maybe I would say maybe around 50 people here. It's not a bad crowd considering the date and time it's being played and the fact obviously it's probably not the highest quality football, but it's nice to see a few people out and about ready to enjoy some football. So yeah, let's uh, the teams are there, the teams are just down here now, waiting to walk out onto the pitch and kickoff is only a matter of minutes away. Very interesting, very dramatic. Very dramatic start to the game as the players walk out onto the pitch and uh, some of, I'm guessing the youth team, carry some sort of flag out. It says 100 on it, so that might be 100 years of the Kyrgyz Premier League or the Kyrgyz Football Association. And here we are at Stadion Dodoy, Dodoy, whatever you want to call it. We're ready for kickoff. And we run the way in the Kyrgyzstan Premier League. So far in the early goings, we've probably been playing about 10 minutes now. And uh, it's been all Dordoy. Ilbris just can't get hold of the ball. Dordoy, um, 
They've had a couple of half chances. He just had a shot that was just deflected past the post just then, had the corner. But other than that, it's been all one way traffic so far. And I suppose that's to be expected when you, you look at the table. Oh, that's the closest we can come to a goal. I think it was either number 18 or number 31 cracked an absolute screamer off the underside of the crossbar, crashed down and bounced out. Ilbris, very, very lucky there. Sh almost, I say should have been, could have been 1 0. Can he get it under the control? Can he play it through? He's going for it. Shoot! Ooh, just dragged it wide. That was close. That was the best opportunity Ilbris have had all game. Just over 40 minutes played now. It looks like this will probably be going in. 0 0 at half time. Hopefully, uh, a big second half ahead and all the goals down this end. Shots! Ooh, what a save! And that's half time. 0 0. Not the best half of football I've ever seen. Um, they came close a couple of times, Dordoy to opening the scoring. Uh, the, the best moment of the game was when they crashed that shot off the underside of the crossbar, hit the line and bounced out. Um, other than that, not a great deal has happened, forced a couple of saves out of the keeper. Ilbeach came back into it a little bit at the, end of the, at the end of the half there, but nothing of any real quality. The counter attack didn't really trouble him in there. The team's heading, nil nil, hopefully, hoping for a better half, hoping to preserve hoping to preserve, I should say, my record of never having seen a nil-nil whilst abroad. And the players are back out on the pitch. It's hoping for a big 45, plenty of goals. Come on lads, probably a nil-nil, can't be a board draw. A few more fans in this, and to the stand this half as well, because uh, I think you want to support Dordois attacking options, mostly the uh, Dordoy fans in here. And we are now underway. That's our first goal of the game. Dordoy break the deadlock. Finally seen the goal. 54 minutes, is it? Yeah, 54 minutes it's on. Slipped it onto the keeper, nice and easy. And it's Ilbeige nil. Dordoy Bishkek one. Something I've never heard at a football stadium before. Don't know if you can hear in the background, but a call to prayer. It's the first time I've been at a football stadium. I can hear a call to prayer, uh, an Islamic call to prayer. Oh, it's 2-0 uh, and the floodgate's about to open, ball comes across, pretty much a tap in, it's two goals I think, I think it's two goals for number 19, what's that number 19, yeah we'll, we'll give him it, two goals for number 19, two goals for Dordoy, it's going to be Hill Bears nil, Dordoy 2. I missed that one then, um, recording wise, I actually saw it in my own eyes but uh, the number eight of Ilbris there. Little Maisie run. Just swept it nicely into the bottom corner, beating the keeper. Fantastic goal. Il, 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 Ilbris back into this with 25 minutes left to play. So, a point's all there to play for. Is it 2 2? From Oh! That was so close. That was fantastic. Shoots! Oh! What a goal, what a period of play. They almost equalise at the other end, Ilves, and then they go and concede a long drive from number six. Fantastic goal. And currently, as it stands, it's going to finish 3 1. That was my prediction before the game. So if there's no more goals, I'm happy, but that was an absolute belter of a strike. Giving it. It's a penalty. It was a push by the uh, Dordoy defender on the Elbish player. 
goes to ground. There were actually penalty appeals before that. They took a corner and um, it struck the arm of one of the door -door players, but I think it would have been harsh because it was kicked from a very uh, sort of point blank range. Um, his arm went out for a corner, from the corner, and he ended up with a penalty anyway, so it's kind of all evened itself out, I suppose. Number 71 stepping up to take the penalty for Ilbears. And it's in 3 2. I have to say, this game has exploded into life. It was a dour affair in the first half, but five second half uh, goals, and there is 18 minutes left to play, so plenty of time for some more, plenty of time for equalisers from late drama, perhaps, um, or potentially the doy to put the game to bed. Game over. It's finished Ilbears 2, Dordoy Bish Keck 3. A decent game, a really good second half to be fair. The first half was absolutely pathetic. The second half was a lot better. We had a penalty, we had a long range power driver, a few yellow cards, a bit of needle between the two teams. But Dordoy get the win. An important three points in the title race. And uh, yeah, congratulations to, to them on the three points. Shame for Ilbears. Fair enough, they did keep going. They went 2 0 down. I thought that was the head's going to be gone. They kept, they kept working. They got a couple of goals, but it wasn't enough on the day. And uh, yeah, what a, what a game on the players down here. Gutted about the, uh, the loss. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually on the pitch now, I'm over the line. Yeah, this is absolutely class. I'm just like walking on the pitch. The players are all trotting off now. TV cameras coming out. But yeah, <laughs> guys tell me to get off the pitch. But yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. I'm here hearing the post-match interviews about to take place. Brilliant game if you ever here. I'd recommend coming to a, a game. It's either Dordoy or Algebishkek in the centre here or presumably Ilbears because they're playing here but yeah it was a free, a free afternoon a good afternoon and I uh, highly recommend it signing off for another video from Dordoy Stadium I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time